Hi, brothers and sisters. Okay, so I'm being led by the Holy Spirit to come on here. Um, you know, let, let us stand united right now, brothers and sisters, in prayer for the lost. I know each and every one of us is praying, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of the word singularity, but I don't think that's coming to my mind. Uh, you know, but we're, we're basically, we're, we're praying for the lost by, on our own and by ourselves. Well, right now, let us stand united, you know. Let us pray for those that are out there that, that are blind and don't even realize that they're blind. Let, let us pray for those that, you know, say, oh, well, um, you know, I, I said a prayer when I was about 12 or 13, so I'm saved, but they're not. Let us pray for those that are back slid and let us play for those that um don't even see how blind they truly are you know so the holy spirit wanted me to come on here and just ask that we stand united in this brothers and sisters so right now i'm going to pray for a minute and i ask that you pray with me um because we know uh you know where two or more are gathered there he is, you know, and, and we are stronger when we are united. We are weak when we are divided, but we are strong, brothers and sisters, when we are united um, in his name. Okay, so Father God, we come to you right now, Lord, and we just ask, we hand up every single lost soul that is in this world right now to you, Father God. You know their hearts, Lord. You know what needs to be done. N none of us can do anything about these lost souls unless you guide us and you are the driving force behind it we lift up those right now father god that that say i call myself a christian but you know that in their hearts they don't follow you we lift up those right now father god we lift up those that are in the church right now and that are blinded right now you know that are in the church and they think that they are doing the right thing but they are following man's um wisdom man's truth and not yours father god we come to you now and we just pray that you take all these people and just that as many people come to you before it's too late and and that we can plant as many seeds that you want us to plant before we are gone father god you know, we, we want to be obedient to you on all things. We want to live in the fullness of your will. Teach us what you want us to do, Lord God. Have us where you want us to go, what you want us to say, what you want us to do. We open ourselves to you in every way, Lord my God. And we just thank you for this opportunity that we have been given to eyes to see and ears to hear. We are so grateful, Lord, that you have given us spiritual a spiritual lens and that we are not blind and we pray and lift up every soul that is blind right now to you lord we pray that that thousands upon thousands and thousands repent to you and turn to you lord and make you their lifestyle and we just pray that we stand united um stand united in prayer stand united in obedience stand united in love all for you, Lord God. And uh, it is in your mighty and worthy name that we pray, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, brothers and sisters, thank you so much. Like I said, he just wanted me to come on here and, you know, because we, <laughs> our prayers are, our prayers can be very mighty when we stand together. Even, even when, you know, we pray alone, our prayers are mighty because he hears all of our prayers. Uh, because of the desire we have within us to obey him. You know, we have a strong desire in us to obey him at all times, brothers and sisters. So therefore, he hears our prayers. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. Keep your heads up. Stay in prayer and repentance on a daily, daily basis. Um, you know, because he is coming for us. And uh, what's going to fall this world after we leave is you know those that are that are lucky enough to be alive during the tribulation and not you know haven't died right imme immediately uh, died in their sins and have gone on to hell those that are lucky enough to be alive during the tribulation let's pray for them as well you know because it's not going to be easy shalom